Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with CNM Aquatics, and if you're new here, we talk about pretty much anything related to the marine reef keeping aquarium hobby. And today, I was going to do a little video on algae and algae control. So, if you've been in this hobby for any amount of time, you're going to run into algae. And algae grows off of nitrates and phosphates in your aquarium. And it's important to have some in there. I try to keep my nitrates around 5 parts per million and phosphates 0.02 to 0.03. So if you get spikes in those, it can definitely cause an increase in algae growth. And I like to use fish and invertebrates whenever I can to try and help control algae. I think that's probably the safest way of doing it. So here you've got some long hair green algae. And this is probably one of the most common types of algae you find in a marine aquarium and one of the most prevalent that people have a lot of trouble keeping under control. And this is another type of uh, kind of like a red hair. So instead of using harsh chemicals, I don't always trust them. Like I said, I try to use natural predators. So we're going to start with invertebrates here and snails are pretty helpful with this they're they're really good at eating algae off of the glass of your aquariums and they help to keep the glass clean and they're able to get into the crevices on the rocks and eat different types of algae to help keep them clean as well so these little starfish are called a i'm going to say this wrong astrina astrina stars and I've never had an issue with them in my aquarium as far as the corals go, except for the fact that they multiply incredibly fast. So it is, it is important to keep them under control. And then I like to use, this is a blue-legged hermit crab. And you can see him here. He's actually picking at some green hair algae that's growing on the bottom of the aquarium. And it, with these guys, it's important to eat... Um, to leave some bigger shells in the aquarium for them so they can as they grow they can get bigger shells but they do a good job of eating organic matter and, and picking at algae in the aquarium so the sand sifting goby i love him because he keeps my sand very clean but the big downside to this this guy is he likes to tunnel under rocks and i don't like how he can make the aquarium water cloudy He's pretty new in this system, so I'm going to give him a few weeks to, to kind of settle in. But one thing, make sure your live rock is sitting on the glass of the aquarium, because as he tunnels underneath, he can topple rocks over. So that's something to keep in mind. And this is a lawnmower blenny, and he gets the name lawnmower blenny because he likes to eat that green hair algae, and he can really plow through some of it. So he's done very good in my systems at, at help keeping the green hair algae under control. He'll pick at the rocks and the sand and the glass. And they're fun to watch. So a couple fish I like to keep. This is a Tamini Tang. They're pretty hardy fish. They're pretty ready, readily available in the hobby. But they'll, they'll spend their days, you know, grazing on algae, picking at rocks. He'll, he'll help pick hair algae off of, you know, the frag plugs or the bottom of the tank. And this is a six line race. He doesn't do a lot for algae, but I keep him because he eats other pests like um, like blood worms. Pick them off of the rocks, but he doesn't do a whole lot with the algae. And then the, the yellow tang is a very popular marine aquarium fish in the hobby. Probably the most popular tang. You can see him here picking at the rock. He's a lot like the Tamini tang and I've never had an issue as far as aggression with him and this Tamini. They, they, they seem to get along just fine. But he does a really good job at, at picking at hair algae and some other plating algaes and, and things in the aquarium. And they, they help keep the, the algae off the frag plugs. They'll pick at it all day. And with all these guys, I, I do supplement feed, you know. They'll get flakes and, and some meaty foods and stuff. They can't just... Most aquariums can't support these fish 
just with the algae growth in the tanks. They have to be, be supplemented. That might, that might be an obvious point, but I'm just pointing it out. And then this is a hippo tang, a dory, if you've ever seen Finding Nemo. Very popular. And the hippo and this sailfin tang. The sailfin tang, he does a really good job at picking at the rocks and, and getting the algae off. I've been very happy with him. And him and the hippo tang have kind of buddied up. They've got along very well together. But they do a good job at keeping the rock rocks clean. You can see them picking at some brown algae here by this bird's nest coral. I will say with the tangs, it's it's better to have a larger aquarium. Like I wouldn't keep them in a 20 gallon aquarium. They're, they're gonna grow and be decent sized fish. So, you know, 100, 150 gallons and up would probably be the best bet for those guys. They need some room to swim. That's a real quick video, guys. There's a lot of algae control methods out there, but whenever I can, I, I try to use natural predators instead of harsh chemicals. I don't like putting things in the aquarium that has the potential to hurt the fish or the corals. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and check out our website.